Oh, that's so cute. What? Kevin, don't be a beach. <laughs> oh, dude, that's so close. Oh, I have one of those pillows. I've actually never seen any Sadie's proposals. Don't be a beach. That's cute. That's cute. <laughs> Actually, no, not really. See, that's what I'm about. I'm about giving food over like flowers. <laughs> is this our school? Oh, this isn't our school. Is this at another school? <laughs> I think this one's pretty good. Dang, there's so much more hype. Big circle of people. You guys set like the bar here? And like, what are you gonna do when you actually need to like marry someone? She wants to dance for him. She gonna dance. Aww. <laughs> kind of already see a lap dancing coming on here. This. <laughs> I've seen a video like this before. Oh, she got her squad. Oh, they're really good dancers. This is so planned. Those are real friends right there. The best one I've seen so far. She got him Boba. <laughs> she got him Drake, that's nice. That's probably the best part. It's cute, Boba. See? Wow. I think this is pretty well thought out. That was cute. Can you tell us what you just watched? A video of people being asked to Sadie's. Girls asking guys to the Sadie's dance. Sadie's proposals. So for someone who doesn't know, what is Sadie's? Sadie's is a dance where girls ask the guys out. So it's kind of fun for guys, because then we're kind of in a role reversal. Can you uh, tell us what was happening in the first video you watched? Someone was asked to Sadie's. Well, my friends. Justine um, and Kevin Fang. This guy walks out of the building. Kevin was being asked to Sadie. And I know Kevin, which is kind of funny. She had something, Graham? And he sees the poster, Don't Be a Beach. He's <laughs> he probably knows who it is since they kissed and it was really close to the camera. Oh, what about the second one? Second one, it was um, orchestra or band. I thought it was just like band practice. Lauren asking Joshua out. Oh, Josh came in with his uh, broken hand or whatever. They're playing uh, the song, I don't know, Beach Waves or something. I just know he got food, which was great. It was, <laughs> with music, it was really cute. And then uh, how about the last one? Uh, I thought it was really cool. Wait, that's not our school. I like the last one the best. It made me forget about the first two ones. The girl went all out and there was a huge crowd. She choreographed a whole dance for him with her friends. I thought it was going to be like a lap dance, but... <laughs> Guess not. Have you ever been to Sadie's? Nope. Or any other dances? Nope. No, I haven't. I've been to middle school dances. I've been to homecoming every single year. Yes, I did. Once. Long, long time ago. I'm not gonna tell you when. Yeah, freshman year. Yes. I went to Sadie's with my husband. We got married and I have our ring and our certificate. <laughs> How did your date ask you? She kept me in for fourth period and I was actually pretty worried because it was Hake and so I thought she had something serious to talk about. Right when I went outside, the poster was there. Well, we were dating, so it was just like, do you want to go? So how do you decide who to ask to a dance? Can people go as friends or does there have to be romantic interest involved? We go as friends. So usually it's some sort of connection. I thought it'd be cool to ask as friends, but apparently if you do, it show it. they think you have romantic interest. Someone who's like, who knows that you're not trying to bring it to the next level. Um, I think the way you guys dance, if there's not romantic interest, it's kind of weird because how do you go back to being friends after all that chafing? Back then, we, we went with friends all the time. Is it ever okay to say no when someone asks you to a dance? 
Yeah, but it's gonna be really awkward if like they did something really big. It depends. No, that'd be kind of mean. So if you don't want to go, how would you go about rejecting them? Don't come to school. <laughs> Just avoid them. I would actually say yes to the person and then kind of tell them afterward that I can't go. Tell them that I had plans, but if I did have plans on the day of Sadie or, or, or any other dance, I would still try to make time. Put them aside and say, oh no, sorry, I have better things to do. What materials do you need to ask someone to a dance? You don't need anything. Just a poster with a pun. Flowers maybe, depending on who. Um, usually you, you want to make it big and so everyone kind of sees it and so they know how special it is. Guts, that's what they need. So why is there such an expectation for huge extravagant dance proposals? I don't know, someone said a bar and everyone feels like they need to jump over it. I guess it's like tradition. The hype about it. The bigger it is, the more people will know. I think it's so people can show off on social media. People are always trying to outsmart or outdo other people. At the same time, it's sort of like forcing them to say yes. Like, oh, look at all this effort I put. And if you say no to me in front of everyone, it's sort of messed up. I don't know. I just, I don't even know why it's a big deal. It just is. So what do you think about how a dance had to be specifically created where girls are supposed to ask guys instead of the other way around? Oh, um, I think it kind of breaks tradition. To have a dance dedicated for girls to ask guys, it's... No, all the other dances, the, the guy is supposed to ask the girl. Some guys don't necessarily have the courage. Maybe girls were tired of not getting asked. Side cities, do you think the guy is always supposed to ask the girl whether it's a dance or just a date? I think that's what girls want. The girls like to feel special. They don't want to make the first move. No, I think now we're like coming more like open to the idea where girls ask guys. It's a new generation, you know. Girls are always doing like the, the guy stuff. It doesn't matter. Honestly, because as long as you go with them and you have a good time, that's all that matters. How would you ask someone to a dance? I would ask with making a poster by offering food. Things like stuffed animals, balloons. I'd ask them verbally. I wouldn't like make a sign. I I'd feel like too awkward. The most I do is make a poster. I wouldn't choreograph a thing. How would you like someone to ask you to a dance? Verbally as well. Like I, I wouldn't want to be put on the spot or anything. I guess a poster would just be fine. Good pun on a poster and food. <laughs> Flowers would be funny. It's kind of funny, like if I read the poster, I'd laugh. It doesn't have to be a poster, they can just ask me. So, um, are you planning on asking anyone to say these this year? No. Nope, <laughs> because I don't know who to ask. So, if someone were to ask you to say these this year, would you say yes? I would. Yeah, I think I should, yeah. It, like, maybe if they were, like, a good friend. Oh, yeah, I would say yes. I've got one video for you. Do I answer the question? <laughs> yeah, I think you yes. should.